Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this stories design to your blogger website. Now in the previous videos, we have been designing this from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So this is how it works. We can see that we have these stories just like the Facebook website. And if I click on this next button, we can go to the next story. And if I click on this previous button, we can go to the previous stories. And if I click on any of these stories, the story will be displayed in full screen mode. And we can also go ahead and go to the next and the previous stories over here. And if I click on this close button, the story goes back to the default view. Now in this video, I'll show you how to add this to your blogger website. So let's get started. Right here, I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and uh, let's add this design into a post. So let's go over here to post and let's click on new post. And uh, I'll just add a title. I'll just type stories. You can add any title you want over here. And then the next thing we need to do is change this into the HTML view. So by default, it'll be in the compose view. So click on this button and click on HTML view. Now here you can add the HTML, CSS and JavaScript code. So let's go to our source code and I will leave the link of the source code in the description. So let's copy this HTML from here. So I'll just copy from this line of code till at the end over here. And uh, let's paste it over here. Before that, I'll just create a style tag to add the CSS. So I'll just create this style tag over here. Right now, let's paste the HTML down here. And now let's add the CSS. So let's scroll up and let's go back to our source code. And let's go to the CSS file and uh, let's copy all the CSS from here. So I'll just copy from this line of code till the end. So let's copy this from here and uh, let's paste it over here inside this style tag. And the last thing we need to do is add the JavaScript. So let's go all the way to the end. And let's create a script tag over here. And uh, let's go back to our source code and let's go to the main.js file. And let's copy all this uh, JavaScript from here. And let's paste it over here. Right now, if you go to the JavaScript file here, we can see that this is all the details of our stories. So here we can see we have the image and then we have the author. So these details of all these stories are displayed over here inside this all stories array. So here we have the author and the image URL. Now you can go ahead and add your own stories over here instead of these stories that you see over here. Right now, let's go back and uh, Let's go to our blogger post. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to replace all the links of the images. So right now we can see that uh, we have this uh, image URL set to images forward slash image dot jpg. Now in our local project we had this folder called images. So that's why we have added this uh, URL. But in our blogger website we don't have this images folder. So what we need to do is we need to upload the image somewhere and get the link and paste it over here. Now you can also upload the image in your blogger post itself. So you can just go over here and click on this insert image button and click on upload from computer. And you can go ahead and upload the image from your system and get the URL and paste it over here. But I'll just use a service called Cloudinary. So you can just go to cloudinary.com and create a free account and then just log into the account and go to media library. Now here we can upload our images and we can get the link from here. So let's go ahead and click on upload and let's click on browse. And here we can see we have all these images that we used in our design. So let's select all of these and uh, let's click on open. And here we can see all the images are being uploaded. And now we can see all these images have been uploaded over here and we can go ahead and get the link and paste it in our blogger website. So to get the link, you can just click on this uh, button right here called copy URL. So here we have the name of the images and also some unique code after that. So let's find the first image. So here we have the first image. So you can just click on copy URL and go back to your post. And here for the first image, I'll just delete this uh, URL from here and I'll just paste the new link. So in this way, you can go ahead and copy all these links from here. So let's search for the second image. This is the second image. So I'll just copy this URL from here and uh, let's paste it over here. Now just quickly go ahead and do the same for all the other images. Right, I have updated the links of all the images. Now let's go ahead and click on publish. 
and confirm and here we can see our post has been published so let's click on view post and let's see whether everything looks all right so here we can see all the stories are being displayed and we can also scroll to the left and the right let's click on these buttons and the buttons are also working all right now let's click on one of these stories so let's click on the story right here and we can see that the story is displayed in full screen mode and uh, let's click on the next and the previous buttons and everything is working all right but now let's click on the close button and it is also working all right so that's basically how you can add this stories design to your blogger website now i will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day